What is going on everyone? We're back at it again with another video. Um, I've been wanting to do this one for the longest time and we actually went to the store tonight. Last minute thing. I think we got to Walmart at 9.30 and they closed at 10. But that gave us plenty of time to get what we needed to do. And yeah, these are what we got today. Um, I've always wanted to try MREs, which I know this is not like the military um, MREs. And for the ones who don't know what MREs stand for, it's meal ready to eat. And so, apparently there's a, a lot of these in the uh, camping camping section of Walmart and it's pretty much just like instant food. You add water, hot water, and boom, you got it. So um, we just wanna do a taste test as to how this goes and how it tastes and see if it's really capable of taking on a camping trip. Um, so with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so we just got the bag open. <laughs> It don't smell like nothing. Not really. So we just got the bag open, and uh, I don't know what to think about it. It looks funky. It doesn't look you see? Pleasant. There you go. So um, yeah. For the ones who do buy this, there is one of these packets in here. Make sure you take it out if you don't want to die. So, um, yeah, I mean, the instructions are simple. Open the package at the tear knot. Uh, remove and discard oxygen absorber, which is what I just said. Um, carefully add one and a half cups to the bo uh, of boiling water. Stir carefully and close the zipper. Then wait five minutes, stir again, and reseal. Um, and then it says wait another four minutes. Again, stir and enjoy right out of the pouch. So with that being said, let's get some hot water. Okay, so we got our hot water, boiling water, as you can see. So I'm usually not too picky as far as um, getting the exact uh, measurements right, but the thing is, this is our first time trying this. So, to give a full review on this, um, to make sure it stands up to what it says, we're going to do exactly how it says it. So, for this one in general, the um, chili mac with beef, it says add one and a half cups of boiling water. So we're gonna do that now. Again, like I said, I'm measuring the exact amount just because um, this is our first time ever trying this. So um, I wanna make sure their instructions and everything live up to what it says. And that is more than one and a half. Boom. All right, so we got that cooking. Next thing it says to do is stir and close the zipper. Ooh, that smells good. <laughs> it smells like chili. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Looks like it. All right, so again, stir, close it up. It has like a little ziplock thing you close it up with, um, which for me it's it's giving me issues. Um, so I guess we'll go and count that as the first issue. Is it's not wanting to lock up. The zipper is very thin, not like the ziplock uh, bags that are like about that thick that you can easily seal. This is not wanting to seal, so we're gonna have to improvise and top it off with probably like a clip or something. So yeah, after that says wait, yeah. After that says wait five minutes. So yeah, we'll be back in five minutes. All right, so the five minutes is up. It says, uh, wow, it says stir again and then reseal. So yeah, we'll go and do as instructed. Stir again, one last time. All right. Ooh, smell. I know you smell that. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah, it smells not bad. It smells like um, you know what it smells like? It smells like a, uh, what's that company that um you add water to it, but it's not dried like this. And a helper, hand helper, okay. <sighs> handy helper. <laughs> y'all, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a company that makes does uh makes uh food items like this, and um you just add water, stir it up in a pot. It's called uh. 
Ah, uh, uh, hand, hand, hand something. Hand something. Y'all go and let me know in the comments if y'all figure it out. So, yeah, we're going to wait four more minutes and we'll be back again. Okay, so the four minutes have been up and now it says stir and enjoy right out of the pouch. So, that's what we're going to go, go ahead and do right now. The moment everybody's been waiting for. You try it first. We're both going to try it. It's hot. It is hot. Hold up, we'll, uh, we'll count us down. Ready? Hold up, my thing is freaking. Three, two, one. It's not bad. You can taste just mostly beef, though. Yeah, there's not no mu there's not much flavor in it, is there? Mm. Like the texture is actually, I I like it. Yeah, I like the texture, but it doesn't look that pleasant. But it's pretty good. It's not bad. The taste is really not that bad. Let me show you our finished result. That is our finished result. I'm gonna take one more bite before we get over this one. Big spoon. This is so hot. I'll take a little spoon. But if you're hungry, I'm this for sure I think would satisfy you. The texture is nice, the aroma is nice. I think flavor could be a lot more stronger, but out of 10, what would you rate it? Out of 10, 7.5. I'd say 6.5. So, as you can see, we're pretty much on the same boat. It's not bad. I would rec I would recommend it if you are going to camp him. Um, if you don't want to take a big old um, electric uh, grill to plug in at the campsite, you can just go and use this. It's easy. Very simple. And I'm sure you would enjoy it. So now we got the scrambled eggs with bacon. Really excited about that because I love bacon. But um, I am curious as to what this will look like. Ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's McDonald's eggs right there. I know exactly how <laughs> these are going to turn out. Look. That's nasty. Where's the bacon at? I didn't see none. There you go. So, it smells like that fake bacon. I smell nothing. It smells like fake bacon. So the instructions are a little different, not too different. Um, the time of waiting is the same. The only thing that is different is the amount of water. We're going to put one cup of water in this one. And again, it's the same process, so we'll, we'll skip over that. Okay, we're back at it. Um, <laughs> oh, this is oh, this is what we got this time. Oh, water. Anyways, we'll be okay. Spillage. Um, so hold on. The smell is a little funky. Um, uh, you could really smell the bacon, and the bacon does not smell pleasant. It smells like that fake bacon. You, I'm not sure. I've had this in the past, but uh, I went to a trip to Charleston one day, and they were selling bacon everything, bacon toothpaste and everything. So I decided to get the bacon chapstick, and it smells exactly like this, and it stunk so bad because you can obviously tell it's fake bacon. But um, we'll give it a go. We'll see how it is. Look at that. Ugh. That's freaking McDonald's eggs right there. So, so yeah, that's what we got. That's too big of a bite. Oh, come on, don't punk out. Gotcha. You gotta get some bake, fake bacon in this crap. Can't find them. And let me make mention, <laughs> so I mentioned earlier that the zip lock thingies do not work great. I've turned it upside down. Huh? Yeah, I got bacon. No, but it just showed down. It's like bacon bits. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so I turned the bag upside down just to shake it up. Or not to shake it up, but to read the quotes. Because they got little quotes down here. This one says, I hope you remember to close the other end before reading this. And then when I did that, this one freaking fell over when I 
t twisted it over. But um, yeah, here we go. Ready? Three, two, and. It was at this moment that he knew he f up. Uh. Mm -mm. Uh. <laughs> what is that? Who would eat that? That is um. Maybe why it costs cheaper than the other one. So that one right there cost eight dollars. Um, well, almost nine dollars, and this one cost six dollars. But um, I know why there's a money difference there. And last but not least, we got a treat because nice. we deserve it. Nice. It is the ice cream sandwich. Um. I guess you just eat it. This is a real. So the back says this is a real ice cream sandwich with real vanilla ice cream between two delicious cookie wafers. You'll be astonished by the taste. The best part is the ice cream won't drip on your shirt or stick to your fingers. Why? Because like dozens of other foods that that Mountain House has been making since 1968, it's freeze dried. This is an amazing process that allows you to easily pack it for the wilderness adventures, wrap it, as a, wrap it up as a gift, hand it off as a reward, or even take it with you to the moon. So yeah, we'll give it a go. I'm excited about that one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it comes in like that um, ice cream that um, they make that is not freeze dried. This is exactly what it is. If you look, take a take a look at it there. You see, um, doesn't look bad. It looks good actually. It is chalkish in a way. I'm sure I could draw with it. And look, listen to it. Yep. All right, you ready? Yeah. Smell. Oh, it smells good. I don't smell much. <laughs> ready? Three, two, one, and. It gets soft at the end. The more you chew, the more your saliva gets in. Oh, wow. That tastes good. That tastes really good. That's good. Guys. Flavor is really good. I think this is the best thing we've had from this brand, Mountain House, which is not a sponsor. Um... Like I said, flavor is really good. Texture is, of course, different than your regular ice cream, which is obvious. And yeah, I would. How much was it? Oh, it was like three, three, four dollars. Still a little pricey compared to regular ice cream, but again, no mess, no hassle. It's ready to go. And yeah, I, I have nothing else to say other than. Was it worth it? Mm. Maybe not for the pri price, but. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. The price could be a little bit better, but... What's your rating? Oh, wow. We didn't even rate the scrambled eggs, but I don't even think we had to, that's to rate a, the scrambled eggs. That's a negative. Um, I'll give that a... But if we're being reasonable, one. yeah, one. I'm going to give it a one. The ice cream is really good. Um, I'm not going to give it a full ten for obvious reasons, just because... It's not regular ice cream. You're alternating something that was once a thing. Um, so I'm gonna give it, give it an eight. An eight. That's exactly what I was thinking. An eight's a really good score to give it out of ten. The only thing I don't understand is if you really like ice cream and you like to take it on the go, then yeah, I would recommend it for sure. But it's honestly just like the marshmallows. It's nothing new. Like you know the marshmallows that comes in like the cereals. Like um, Lucky Lucky Charms. Yeah, Lucky Charms. it's almost like that, but they just all better in your mouth. Um, but like I was saying, if you really like ice cream and you always gotta have it, I would recommend this if you go ha uh, hiking or camping. But if not, just go get the regular ice cream. I I don't see the purpose of this other than having the satisfaction of the flavor, but other than that the meal that we had was not bad there's a lot more choices to choose from uh we just got these because of quick rush to walmart um 
so far I would for sure recommend this brand not a bad brand at all um, simple instructions there's actually a saying on every bag at the bottom for example this one says it's good to have a great day the other one says um, I hope you remember to close the other end before reading this so it's simple stuff like that that makes thing that makes people want to buy it you know um, it's just attention to detail is what I'm trying to get to but um overall really great experience for the first time and yeah I think that's it thank oh. y'all oh don't recommend this though this was like this was the negatives most definitely cuz yeah scrambled eggs I don't know what happened <laughs> so yeah that is the end of this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you later